Remember when we first saw Afro Luffy? It was Luffy's first ever power-up and everybody loved it and of course they did because everybody loves an Afro. I mean look at these stylish guys. But with Gear 5 finally being animated, it's time to decide once and for all what is Luffy's ultimate power-up? Gear 5 or Afro Luffy? Most people have always considered the monster trio to be Zoro, Sanji and Luffy. But the real monster trio has always been Soga King, Con D, Oriana, and Afro Luffy. Let's think back to Afro Luffy's first and only appearance, the fight of Sexy Foxy. Foxy had the ability to slow down time, one of the most broken abilities in the entire One Piece verse without a doubt. Luffy only managed to defeat him because he was in his Afro Luffy form, which as we know, canonically in One Piece, Afros are not affected by the passage of time. The proof is Brook. Brook, despite losing everything, even his fingernails, did not lose his afro, proving the power of the afro. Foxy's ability to slow down time must have been minimized by the afro. Brook's afro is also why he was able to fight a monster like Big Mom without conqueror's haki and survive. The afro never dies. But which is the ultimate power up? Gear 5th or Afro Luffy? In order to decide, I'm going to use three metrics that they're going to compete over. The first is hype, the second is style, and the third is just raw power. Which of them is more power? Which has generated more hype and which is just more stylish? Gear 5th definitely got style. He's dressed all in white, he's got a funky haircut. Just look at that body. But, let's be honest, no afro. Something about an afro just has so much style to it. I mean, it's cool, it's dominant, it doesn't get in the way. The best proof of how stylish an afro is, is the fact that you can put it on literally anything and it's gonna look good. We got Hippo with an afro, Jason Statham with an afro, afro with an afro. No matter what you choose, an afro makes it look better. In terms of style, just gotta give it to the afro. The hype for Gear 5 has been off the rails. People were so excited to the build up for it being animated. And even after it was animated, people are still talking about it. I mean, I'm talking about it in this very video and you're here with me talking about it as well. I rest my Afro. But the hype for Afro Luffy was also incredible. The fact that it happened such a long time ago and people still remember it. I mean, just think back to when Usopp first saw the Afro. He was pulled in. It was like when Smeagol first saw the ring in Lord of the Rings. There was just some incredible pull about it. He couldn't resist. They were in a room full of costumes, all they grab is the afro. The afro had so much hype that even Foxy's crew was cheering for Luffy and everyone understood that the afro did in fact increase his power. He won't lose. Well that goes without saying. He's Luffy and he has an afro. Even Robin understood this. No Luffy's gonna win this and get us back. Of course, he does have that afro and all. Luffy's always had the ability to bring people over to his side and make him his allies. But the afro clearly enhances this power to a new level. A veritable afro -digion. The afro generated incredible hype, long lasting hype. But even with that, the sheer level of hype for Gear 5 has just been off the charts. So I'm just going to have to give this one to Gear 5. Power! Gear 5 is insanely powerful. It gives Luffy like a minor form of Toon Force, the ability to do anything as long as it's part of a joke. Luffy, we've seen him able to blow himself up to the size of a giant to affect the world around him, to literally stretch other people's bodies and turn them into cartoon characters. We've seen him do things that should not be possible. Gear 5 clearly is very powerful, but also Afro Luffy, very powerful. Afro Luffy clearly just increases the power of your base form. It just makes him stronger, faster. Every Straw Hat realized this, even Robin acknowledged that it makes him more powerful. Clearly the Afro is like the Super Saiyan form of the One Piece world. I've heard some fan theories that Dr. Vegapunk invented the Afro and that the strongest devil fruit will be the Afro fruit and that Gear 5 we're seeing now is actually just a partial awakening and that Gear 5's true awakening will be Afro Gear 5. Are any of these theories true? No. But what is true is the power of the Afro. Afros have the power to change the world. That's why I grew on myself. And after growing one, I noticed some other changes as well. 
in one manga panel, we saw Imu looking at a giant straw hat. The implication being that there was once an afro big enough to require a hat that big to cover it. Perhaps this was Joy Boy's hat covering Joy Boy's afro. Considering the immense power and potential of the afro, I'm going to have to give this round to Afro Luffy as well. Meaning that Afro Luffy is in fact the greatest power up in One Piece. Well, that's decided. Thanks for watching. If you agree, let me know in the comments. If you disagree, you're wrong. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.